A DMARC stands for a demarcation point. This is the point inside of your organization where you might have a wide area network provider bringing in a circuit, and they need to put the circuit somewhere. We call that the DMARC. And usually, it's a central place inside of your environment. So whenever you're talking to your wide area network provider, you're talking to your internet service provider, and they're asking you, where should we bring in this circuit? You'll tell them, I need to put that at our DMARC, and that's our central location inside of our environment. You even have DMARCs at home. If you look on the side of your house, you probably have a connection where your cable television is coming into your house or your voice communication is coming into your house. And there will usually be an interface right there in your house that is the DMARC. And when the wide area network provider, your cable company, or your phone company is plugging into your house, they'll plug into the DMARC. And then often, it's up to you to make sure that the inside of your house is wired properly. The DMARC, as I mentioned, is usually in a central location. So it's in your main data center facility. It's in your MDF. It's somewhere where all of your data happens to be. And it's a place that you need to know because as you're setting up these circuits, you have to tell your internet service provider or your wide area network provider, bring it into this building on this floor in this room. That's our DMARC. And that's where they're going to drop off the signal to you. Usually, this is something like a single box. It may be just a box on the wall with an RJ45 connection plugged into it. It can be very, very simple. And you're plugging in that connection. It might come in with fiber, and they might be providing you with a copper connection on the other side. What happens inside of that box, who knows? What they're providing you is that single RJ45 connection. The wide area network provider usually refers to your equipment as the CPE, or the customer premises equipment. You'll hear them talk about the customer prem. They're responsible all the way up until that jack. And at that point, it's up to you to maintain the connection from your CPE to the DMARC connection. Sometimes the box on the wall that the wide area network provides to you at the DMARC is not just a simple box. It's actually a much more intelligent device. We refer to these as smart jacks. They're more than just a jack. They're an intelligent device that can tell us a lot about that connection. You may hear these referred to as a network interface device or a network interface unit or even a telephone network interface. But they're all the same thing. They're the smart jack connection that's providing you with that demarcation point. The smart jack, as I mentioned, is more than just a simple box. Inside of this device is usually a circuit card. It usually has a chassis around it. You don't really have access to a lot of the details of the smart jack. The smart jack is put there for your wide area network provider so that they can check on the status of that connection. It's not really there for you. But the advantage of this connection is that you're able to call your wide area network provider, and they can very easily remotely run diagnostics. They can run tests through those connections by sending signals down to the smart jack. So they're able to loop back connections and see if there's any problem sending signal from one side to the other. There's also alarm indicators built into this. They can look at the status of the device. There are sensors inside of it. They can look at configurations. There's a lot of detail they can get. So in many cases, it makes sense for your wide area network provider to put in a smart jack rather than just a single dumb box on the wall, because now they can provide you with a much higher quality of service.